Who has ever dreamed of creating their own gemstone? It's only after long research that young Salome Marek decides to have a try. It all began in 2019 when she arrived at the Bezalel Academy of Art and Design in Jerusalem as an exchange student after studying fashion in Paris. Interested in glass blowing, she chose to study this subject. She's also very sympathetic to the protection of the environment and observes that her field is lacking awareness in this area. All the colors we use are very toxic. We can't breathe them near us because of the heavy metals. But the glass blowers don't change this because they prefer to use a glass that has a beautiful color, a beautiful transparency, rather than to look for a new alternative. As a glass blower, I wanted to change this, so I contacted a geologist from the Hebrew University who helped me for more than two years. An environmentally friendly approach that leads her to travel all over Israel. Her goal? to find stones from different regions of the country, which she mixes with her glass to color it naturally. Depending on the place, the tones differ. Towards the south of the country, Salome Marek identifies more green or blue tones, a way for her to appropriate the land of Israel. Stone is the most common thing in Israel, along with sand and copper. I thought to myself that the gemstone gets color from the glass. That's what we used with lapis lazuli. We used that in the pigments. I said to myself, why not use stone that I find on the street? A local project at first that could also be exported because this significant innovation has multiple opportunities and has quickly drawn the attention of design experts as far away as Europe. Last year, Salome's work was published in several specialized magazines. She was then asked to exhibit at the Design Week in the Netherlands, considered the most important on the old continent, as well as in London and Berlin. Then, as her research continued, her project evolved. Little by little, I realized that my glass was perhaps more affordable for molding or for more industrial production. Blowing glass requires a lot of energy and electricity, so it's not very ecological. That's why I've been looking for a more sustainable alternative that I'm using now to be able to use my glass as a luxury product or for jewelry that is an alternative to gemstone. Now, she's mixing fashion and design with her glass by offering these jewelry-like accessories. One of the many projects she will present at her graduation exhibition this August. Ambitions that could allow her to go beyond the glass ceiling.